Think about this with me for a second. Sometimes life can feel like a maze and our health conditions feel like they're just kind of taking over our lives. We end up in this maze of feelings and we don't really know where we're going. Like, I don't know where in the world I'm going. Look, look, I'm surrounded. So we end up with these health conditions and we sometimes end up with feeling we don't know where this thing is going to take us. We don't know what we're going to lose and have to leave behind. We have no idea what we're going to even gain or even how you're going to grow and be transformed by this whole thing. Now that can sound like an oxymoron, but at the same time, it's something that we do have to think about in order to get through this thing. Because if we don't, it ends up being like quicksand. And that's not what we want out of life, is to be stuck in quicksand thinking that we're never going to get out of this thing and that our condition is going to just totally deplete us and ruin our lives, right? My dad said something to me last night about making what we have our health condition, making what I have and my health condition serve me. What he meant by that was to not let our condition become a prison in which we live in, like this never-ending maze that I'm trying to edit right now. He meant it as taking our health and our conditions and to be able to reframe it and reach out into the world to do something about it, to make a change, to have it serve us and not let it be a barrier for the rest of our lives. We all have differing degrees of conditions, I understand that, and he understands this as well, but he's just trying to encourage me to allow this to be something that is a bit of a launching pad, even though I'm still trying to learn how to navigate things, obviously, but to look at it that way versus this thing that's happened and, uh, you know, so that's that. I thought, to myself, you know what? It's true. That helped me gain some power and control so that I can think of myself and my life outside of this maze. So it was an interesting concept of what he had me think about. And they're right in the background. You just saw them. Anyway, um, it made me start to think about, yeah, okay, so what does that mean? That means that I have to reinvent myself away from this thing, my condition. I still may have it, but I don't have to define myself by it, which is the danger of sometimes having these conditions, right? Is that we label ourselves as these conditions when really they are not us, they are not all of us. We still have a lot more to offer the world, we still have a lot more to give, and sometimes we forget that, that we still have all this stuff that we can offer the world. And it hurts sometimes because you feel like, okay, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, what do I have to offer? I still struggle with that. I'm still sometimes embarrassed at the fact that I can't do all the things that I did before. But I have to reframe it for myself because otherwise it's like quicksand and that's not helpful. Some of you have had to change careers or leave careers or retire from careers that you've loved. Some of you have had the chance and opportunity to actually go back to what you were doing before and that I applaud you because that is amazing. There may be moments in your life where you feel like I have lost all my power and all my control and I think our conditions sometimes make us believe that lie that we are not in control and that we have lost all power to what it is that we have. And so I'm encouraging you not to give in to this idea that you've lost everything because of what you're experiencing. That's a lie. And if no one else is going to tell you, I'll tell you. It's a lie. I've had to tell myself that it's a lie too. 
you have to remember that you still have a lot to give. You still have a lot to give to your family. You have a lot to give to your kids. You have a lot to give to your friends, to the world around you. Your story has value and you are valuable. And if someone hasn't told you that in a long time, well, take it from me. You have a heck of a lot to give. And we sometimes, people who have chronic conditions or anything that we're dealing with, have to reclaim our power and our control over what it is that we're living. And we do not have to give in to the quicksand thoughts that we get stuck in sometimes. We can be free of it as long as we try to reframe things for ourselves in a, in a, in a way that will give us more power and control and confidence in who we are and what we're about and what we can give. That might change, but um, I think there are a lot of bugs around here. Okay. Um, what we have to give might look different than it did before. Doesn't mean that it's any less. Don't get stuck in that maze. I'm telling you, life is much more than just being in that maze of what it is that you have and all the diagnoses that you have because of what you have and blah 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 your life is much more than the condition that you have so please remember that and I am rooting for you we're all rooting for each other okay we can make it through this you have value I have value even though we don't understand always what's happening and we have to preach it to ourselves because that's what I'm doing in, in making this video I'm preaching it to myself that we have to reinvent ourselves sometimes and it's a hard process it's not easy but we can and we will succeed because we can do it all right see you later